and gifts from the shelter. Lucretia overbaked again. Oh, <laughs> yes, but her pies are to die for. We didn't want them to go to waste. Ah. Are, we, are we too late? No, the shelter can always use baked goods. Thanks. <laughs> you know, you could have dropped the pies over at the shelter. More to miss a chance to visit with you. Isn't that what uh, holidays were, were invented for? So old friends could make contact? Have you and Adam set a date? Why does everybody keep asking me that? Well, you are getting married, right? Uh, yeah. You know, if I could just take a breath between queries. <laughs> Mom? Yes, yeah, sweetie? Is Daddy going to marry Gloria? Brooke, 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 it's almost Christmas. You gotta do something. No, I know, I know. I tell you, we have a great dinner planned at the shelter and the Santa party. I got no, that no, guy. No, no, Adam. He told Haley that Liza and him were getting married before Christmas. It's only three weeks away. That, that's why you can't waste any more time. Well, Stuart, it's, uh, it's not up to me. Yes, yes, it is. I, tr I tried, but it didn't do any good. What do you mean? What did you try? We're talking. He, he doesn't pay any attention to anybody but you. Stuart, I don't have any right to interfere in Adam's life. Oh, yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Don't you understand? You're the, you're the only one Adam loves. It's not Liza. So you gotta save him, Brooke. How do you know that Adam still loves me? Oh, Brooke, you can, you can see it every time he hears your name or, or, or looks at you. It doesn't make any difference. Yes, it does. What do you want, Stuart? You want me to feel sorry for him? No, no, I want you to, to, to love him back. I have tried to do that. Well, it doesn't work. Well, can, can't, you, can't you try again? Stuart. As many times as we have tried to get back together, we have failed. Look, bro, Adam is not the same man he was when you married him. He gave you room to be. He, 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 he let you see Pierce. He let me see Pierce? Mm -hmm. I wanted to see Pierce, so I saw him. All uh, right. Well, I'm sorry it didn't work out with you and Pierce, but, but, but then I'm even sorrier for Adam. People make choices, and now Adam has made one. Yeah, the wrong one. Well, maybe I did too, Stuart, but you can't go back. Well, he didn't go back uh, on the one you made. What do you mean? Well, I mean, when the thing with Pierce came up and he, he, he gave you your space, he let you be free, and, and, and even when it didn't work out and you did, still didn't come back to him, he still let you be free. I suppose. I, I know Adam is probably used to having a broken heart by now. He should be. I guess he is. That's why, that's why Liza can get to him like that. That's, I think he's just given up, Brooke. I, he's lonely, and I think he's just given up. Do you really think that Liza's just after his money? Don't you? No, you may be right, Stuart. You mean about Liza? No, about Adam being vulnerable. Yeah, well, she sure knows how to get to him. You know, I was at WRCW the other day to see Tad, and um, Liza was in the office, and she was looking at wedding gowns and going on about how much they cost and how much Adam was willing to spend on this wedding. And then she wanted to know if I knew what his... how much he was worth. What'd you say? I told her that uh, her concern with his finances was indecent. Yay. Um, then she told me that I misunderstood her, but because she, she loves him. She all she loves is his money. Listen, Adam can take care of himself. No, he can't take, he can, only his finances. He can't take care of his feelings. What good is having all the money and power in the world if you can't share it with the one person that you love, and the one person he loves is you, Brooke? Stuart, I don't know how I feel about him. Oh, come on, sure you do. No, honestly, I don't. And it would not be fair for me to ask him to put his life on hold while I try and figure it out. He wouldn't mind. It's not right to, to ask him to do that unless I could promise him something. Well, that's what you have to do first. You have to decide what you can promise him. 
but you got to do it soon because if he and Liza get married, it's you and he, Adam are going to be miserable for the rest of your life. So please, Brooke, save him. How the meeting go? Uh, it didn't. Jerry and Pete were felled by the flu, so we uh, rescheduled. Can Tempo go to press without a managing editor or an art director? Oh, well, they'd mow him from their deathbed if they had to. You know, so will I. Ink still courses through your veins, doesn't it? You bet. Well. Adam, wait. What? Um, well, before uh, the flu gets to us, too, I'd, I'd like to discuss something with you, if you have a minute. Sure, for you, anytime. What's up? Well, Stuart uh, dropped by this morning, and uh, he's worried about you. He is? Why? Oh, I think you know why. Well, you'll have to enlighten me. <laughs> what did he say? Well, he's... He's afraid for you, and uh, frankly, so am I. First, let me say, I... I made a mistake once. And it was a mistake that I promised myself that I would never make again. I would never hold anything you told me against you, Brooke. No, no, no. I made the mistake of trying to hold on to somebody when I knew that we could no longer live together. I mean, I... I not clinging on legally, because divorce is divorce, but... clinging on emotionally. Tom? The thing is, even when you think something is over, it is not over unless you let go. And when you let go, it means that you want someone to be happy. And I want you to be happy. Letting go. Um, I want you to be happy too, Brooke. I know. So... I'm just not sure that Liza will make you happy. You're not. Look, the other day I stopped in at WRCW to talk to Tad, and Liza wanted to talk to me. Well, yeah, go on, please. Adam, Liza was only interested in I, your finances. Well, well it's, that's part of who I am. Why shouldn't Liza make inquiries? If, if this, this has a point, would you get to it? I'm just not sure how you'll take it. Brooke, well, you know you can say anything to me. Come on. Let me have it. I have no right, but if I don't say I... Say it. Uh... Just say it. I don't want to hurt you. You're not going to hurt me. Don't worry about that. Just... Just say it. You'll feel better. I'll feel better. If you marry Liza, you're going to be making the biggest mistake of your life. Tomorrow, on All My Children. You're only irresistible when you're honest. I love you. I want you. What do you say? <laughs>